Good morning, I am John Spomoda from My Love Mount Jordan. Today we have Brent Robertson from the Greens running for Ward 5, Black Mount City Council. And today we'd like to give, leave him to give his version of why he loves Mount Jordan. Thank you, Brent. Yes, excuse the notes and excuse the sunglasses. So I have played a phobia and I was asked to do with short notice. So I'm cheating and I'm using my notes. The fact is I've lived in the Mount Druid area with my partner and four sons for the last 34 years. Now that's a lot of years and the reason is I love it so much that I've never had any reason to, to move. I love Mount Druid because it's, because it's steeped in history. For example, Rudy Hill was once a temporary government house. Shelby was named after Patrick Joseph Shelby, who used to provide Sydney with all its meat interesting details and each other suburb has a reason for its name and is also steeped in the history of Sydney. There's the Darug tribe who we must pay respect to. I love the buskers in, Dor in Dawson Mall. I'm sure you're all familiar, familiar with Charlie the Birdman who used to sing there and used to have a bird on his shoulder. Unfortunately Charlie has died. I had many a conversation. I love to listen to the Filipino gu guitarists in the, in the mall as well. There are heaps of charities that do their good work in the mall. Uh, and, uh, there are lots of devoted people in the area, like Margaret Furlow, who fought tenaciously to save Mount Druid Hospital. There's Wayne Knight, who's since deceased. He used to be a, an MC at many uh, local community functions. There's Car Kerry Bradbury, who lives in Lynchenbury, who has also fought tenaciously to keep our pool saved from mainly from the Liberal government. And then my ex-partner, uh, Debbie Robertson, who's been in many community groups that have worked in the interests of the community and not in developers. She was part of the mentoring program at Bidwell. She's uh, been in many community improvement groups, like the uh, improvement group for buses. She's been in the, the group to try and save the ADI site, which is now Ropes Crossing. Unfortunately, the developers got the upper hand and now it's gone. She was very involved in trying to save emergency surgery at Mount Druid Hospital. Unfortunately, it's gone. And I might say, very modestly, there's me, who's done a lot uh, for the area. You can see me on the, uh, the Greens website, where I give uh, a speech about what the Greens stand for and what I've done and why I should be a councillor. Because these are the, the above people who've put themselves last to improvement, uh, improve Mount Drew and have paid nothing. They certainly don't put themselves first. I love the hospital. I've had many an operation there and I love its friendliness. I love the Mount Druid. Kerry describes it as the o o oasis of Western Sydney. I love the wide open spaces of Mount Druid, the green belts and its numerous parks. I'm also very senti sentimental about uh, uh, Mount Druid. It's like North Ride in the, in the 50s and 60s where there were lots of houses and all houses with good old fibro. And lastly, but not least, I love all the Christmas lights and especially at Lethbridge Park. I love the uh, bush fire brigade coming down Stolly Street for the kids on, and with the Santa Claus. Lastly, I like Mount Druid mostly probably because it's down to earth and unpretentious. Thank you very much.